The Western Ghats region of India is one of the hot spots of biodiversity in the world with rich plant and animal diversity and some species are endemic to the region as in other parts of the tropics growing human population over exploitation and endangerment of biological resources are leading to habitat loss of flora and fauna and in turn loss of biodiversity in this context there is need for intensive activities for in situ conservation of flora and fauna however due to various anthropogenic activities in situ conservation measures alone may not be always effective and feasible and thus ex situ conservation efforts are gaining importance in addition to this education and awareness on biodiversity conservation management and sustainable utilization are also significant with this background the kscste kerala forest research institute has established a bio resources nature park in its sub center campus at nilambur in malappuram district of kerala state to serve multifold objectives of ex situ conservation of various groups of plants and promotion of nature education and ecotourism spreading over an area of 12 hectares the bio resources nature park is located in the strategic location on the way to mysore and uti it is situated adjacent to the world famous teak museum the world's only museum established for a single tree species being also located in the fringe of nilgiri biosphere reserve the bio resources nature park forms an important part of ecotourism in the western ghats of india the bio resources nature park has following theme areas orchid house fern house cirophytes and succulents garden medicinal plant garden star and rashi garden palm garden hydrophyte garden taxonomic garden butterfly garden all the themes are presented in a landscape garden carpeted with grass the ambience of the general area is also enhanced by a wide variety of ornamental plants and topiaries A pond behind the teak museum featuring statues frogs playing chess with a message to maintain healthy ecosystems for pleasant bountiful and peaceful life leads the doorway to the BNP the journey into the sylvan heaven begins with the aristocrats of the flowering world the orchids greeting you with their astounding aesthetic beauty orchids form the largest group among plant families and represent highly evolved plants with most complicated flower structure the orchid house with more than 70 species and several hybrids representing both epiphytic and ground orchids is a floral paradise in the bio resources nature park daily the visitors here have an opportunity to see a variety of orchids in different stages of bloom and growth One can also get familiarized with less common and endemic orchids like Eridus crispa, Bulbophyllum, medicinal orchids like Flickingeria nodosa, Nevelia aragona, Spathoglottis plicata, commercially important orchid like Cattleya, Phaeus tankerwilli, Vanilla planifolia. and the prettiest orchid in south india rinko stylus retusa aside from its floral collection the orchid house mesmerizes the visitors with its crystalline water cascade and mystic misty atmosphere in front of the orchid house a carpet bed showing the floral diagram of orchids has been created using different leafy plants The way past the many topiaries and flower beds in the garden takes you to the fern house where you can see a group of seedless vascular plants usually found growing in moist climatic conditions. Ferns are the first true land plants, the dinosaurs of the plant world. Their ancestors are the source of fossil fuels such as coal and oil that we burn today. Inside the plus shaped house equipped with sufficient shade 
sprinkler and mist facilities there is a collection of about 75 species of ferns and fern alleys which grow in terrestrial aquatic and xerophytic habitats in this fern house one can also see endemic ferns like bolbita semicordata helminthostachys zeylanica rare and endangered ferns like angiopteris evecta Equisetum ramosissimum and species with ornamental values such as Hoopersia squarosa, Platycerium hilli, and Davelia fagensis. Here, the visitors will have an opportunity to admire the unique foliage colors, designs, and delicate beauty of scores of ferns, and also learn more about the importance of ferns as ornamental, medicinal, food and diet yielding plants, and their role in environmental protection and management. The course then leads you to the Cerophytes and Succulents Garden. Cerophytes are plants that are adapted to live in dry or desert conditions. They achieve this by reducing transpiration and increasing water storage, modifying plant parts into structures like thorns and growing normally during early hours and cooler seasons. Succulents are plants that have highly developed and specialized ways of storing water. This water stored in leaf, stem or root produces a wide array of swollen appearance to plant parts and is consumed during period of extreme drought. The Cerophytes and Succulents Garden in the Bioresources Nature Park is designed to exhibit live plants adapted to dry and drought conditions. The garden has an outdoor landscaped rocky mound and a greenhouse to display medicinal, ornamental, biofence and biofuel species. Walking past the children's park and beautiful structures sculpted out of plants is the entrance to the living library of medicinal plants. This garden is an assemblage of around 500 species of plants, many of which are mainstay drug producing, whose products such as alkaloids, glycosides and steroids are used in clinical practice around the world. The garden functions as an educational display and source of information to the visitors on conservation, management and sustainable utilization of medicinal plants. The pathways which crisscross this formal style garden provide easy access for visitors to examine the label plants including both rare and commercially important species. The visitors can get familiarized with species like Acorus calamus, Coscinium fenestratum, Ambelia ribes, Nilgiranda silatus, Terminalia arjuna, Trichopus zelanicus and Andrographus paniculata. In addition, this garden with several medicinal plants of aesthetic value forms a model for developing urban green spaces using medicinal plants. In Indian culture, every nakshatra and rashi has a symbolic tree or plant that defines its connection with the eternal nature. These plants also have myriad medicinal, aesthetic, cultural, social and economic values. It was a tradition in our country that when a baby is born, parents plant a seedling of the tree of the child's nakshatra or rashi. The tree will be nurtured with the belief that the better the growth of the tree, the more health and happiness to the child. In the nakshatra and rashi garden of this bioresources nature park, Plants associated with 27 nakshatras and 12 rashis are planted and in front of each plant a board depicting the details including medicinal uses of the plant is displayed. The intention of this garden is to popularize the concept of nakshatra and rashi garden to promote cultivation, management and utilization of medicinal plants. From here, the way leads you to the iconic palm garden with a splendid collection of palms. Known as the prince among plants, 
palms stand next to grasses in the socio-economy of the human race apart from their significant contribution to beautify the landscapes as horticultural ornamentals. The palm garden in the Bioresources Nature Park contains rare and endangered species like Pinanga Dixoni along with many other palms of great economic significance such as Elise gynensis, Phoenix sylvestris and Borassus flabilifera. Besides over 40 ornamental palm species popularly known as royal palm, queen palm, majesty palm, table palm, bottle palm etc. growing in the garden also attract the visitors. Rattans, a group of climbing and spiny palms are represented in the garden with both common cane species such as Calamus thwaitisi and Cortalsia lacinosa along with rare and endemic species like Calamus vataila and Calamus nagabetiae. The hydrophyte garden in the BNP is an assemblage of more than 50 species which represent different forms of water plants such as floating hydrophytes, floating and rooted hydrophytes, submerged hydrophytes and emergent rooted hydrophytes. The garden is developed not only for educational purposes but also for amusing the visitors with scores of magnificent water lilies in various stages of bud and bloom. Among the featured plants are the sacred lotus immortalized in literature, religion and history for its purity of bloom. The visitors can stroll down a winding walk to see interesting water plants. A light walk over the beautiful lawns takes you directly to live pages of plant taxonomy. Considered as one of the most fundamental and powerful branches of botany, taxonomy is a science of identifying, naming, describing and classifying plants on the basis of shared characteristics. The knowledge on taxonomy is important to appreciate the rich biological diversity present in our region and to take collective decision to conserve, manage and sustainably use the bioresources. Recognizing the importance of taxonomy in fields like biological diversity, medicine, horticulture, agriculture and plantation. This taxonomic garden of flowering plants is established to introduce basics of taxonomy to the visitors. Dedicated to the students of botany alike, this garden is the first of its kind in the country with more than 1000 flowering plants belonging to about 120 families. These include around 50 angiosperm families in the syllabi of graduate and postgraduate studies in botany and forestry in India. The plants here are arranged in plots representing different families with self-explanatory family boards depicting the various characteristic features of that particular family. In this formal type of garden, the visitors can walk around the winding paths to view interesting plants in each flowering plant family. The way leading to the butterfly garden is one of the most beautiful attractions in the BNP, featuring variety of attractive plant species including the red shade vine and the coral vine with the bright fragrant flowers surrounding a beautifully sculptured water cascade. The theme area is home to a vast variety of colorful butterflies fluttering merrily in the suitable microhabitats provided hence. Butterflies are scaly winged insects with fascinating life cycle. The transformation from egg to caterpillar to pupa is one of the wonders of nature. This garden is designed to attract butterflies and enthuse them to live here. This is achieved by planting larval and adult host plants and a subtle modification of the habitat. The juvenile or caterpillar stage of butterflies feed on foliage of specific plants. The adult butterfly feeds on nectar or sap of overripe fruits and sappy exudations from plants. Some adults even feed on the fluid content of excreta of animals and birds. Nectar plants such as Clerodendrum paniculatum, Cosmos, Hemelia patens, 
Lantana Kamara and Zinia Elegance Laval host plants such as Muraya Koiniji, Musainda Frondosa, Aristolachia Indica, Aristolachia Grandiflora, Calotropis Gigantia and butterfly roasting plants such as Crotalaria Retusa and Heliotropium Carolins are introduced in this garden. The common butterflies present here include Southern Birdwing, Glassy Tiger, Blue Tiger, Emigrants and Papilio. This garden is designed to provide information on the life and activities of butterflies and to offer insights into their conservation. The Bio Resources Nature Park of Kerala Forest Research Institute Subcenter Nilambur, with a rich plant diversity assembled in above mentioned themes, is now developed as an ex situ plant conservation area and an important nature education and ecotourism hub in Kerala. Environmental education, technical training, and generating public awareness about biodiversity conservation among a wide audience are the prominent activities in Bioresources Nature Park. With its attractive landscape, topiaries, flower beds, water cascades, watchtower, and lawns, the Bioresources Nature Park is managing to maintain a balance between its educational and recreational roles. The increasing trend of annual visitors from 1.24 lakhs per year during the year 2007-2008 to 2.9 lakhs per year during the year 2018-2019 to also indicating that the visitors have acknowledged the educational and recreational value of the Bioresources Nature Park. The Kerala Forest Research Institute is planning for further intensification of the educational role of Bioresources Nature Park by organizing more educational programs from the perspective of biodiversity conservation, ecology, economic botany, horticulture, ethnomedicine, ethnobotany and other allied subjects.